when we've spoken to people about washout, because it's such a challenge to manage, it's probably easier to not talk about it too much. And I think that's been one of the big challenges for the whole industry, to be honest, is that there's not been a kind of a one-stop solution that will fix the needs for washing out the concrete skips, the concrete lorries, and concrete placing booms, and a vast range of other pipelines on site. If it's not managed correctly, it can A, be harmful to the environment, but B, it can be a costly expense to clear up as well. We've got a very good relationship with our clients, and uh, it was actually one of the project managers, Pat Heston from Tarine Contractors, approached us and said that they'd had this challenge, and he'd actually come up with a, um, a tray system. It worked for them, and he came to us and said, with your brand and with your expertise and with what everything else you do in your range, I think it would be something that you could take to market better than he could. I suppose it was a, a meeting of two minds and we found that there was a, a solution to be had. He came up with a very basic tray system um, and then we've added everything else to it. So we've adapted the tray quite a lot. We've added the bag system to it. We've added the submersible pumps. We've added the water tank and then come up with the option to pump it into the back of the lorries. And of course, we've made it work with our washout stand as well. It's, it's reuse, it's recycle, um, and it's safe and effective. And uh, Pat said to me, we need this on T4 Hotel in three or four weeks' time. So that was where the first system ever went. When we were coming out of the ground here, out of the basement, we were pouring on average, say, between 12 to 1,400 cubic meters a week. The washout unit really helped us like, deal with management of wastewater and our washout system. So, and it's something that Heathrow themselves really like, as Grove Developments. So yeah, it was, it was an all-round winner. I think the biggest challenge for them was the, the complexity of the project. In fact, it was a very tight site, and there's a lot of restrictions on them, and it was in a very busy location. It's efficient. Um, we're tight for space, we're obviously tight for ground. We don't have anywhere to put excess concrete when we're finished pours or when we're washing out skips. And excess water, we don't have anywhere to put it. So when we wash the skips out, plus the wagons, we're recycling the water, it's going into jet wash, it's going in, back into the wagons, as we can't have running water going out onto the road or down main drains or anything. So for the environment, like it's going straight back to use. I think it's an important project for us because it's helped us to understand the challenges that the site teams have faced up and up till today. We've been able to collaborate with them, understand the challenges and we've been able to then go away, work with our design team and with our innovators in the company and come up with a solution. It's good to have that relationship because as I say it brings out the best in the project. Just we're becoming more than just an equipment supplier, we're now supplying solutions on site and um, it's providing a benefit to the whole industry.